Tonight's first public hearing on the budget will convene. Let's rise and let's do the Pledge of Allegiance, if you may. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh. <coughs> Sit too long today. It's going to bother me a little bit. This is a public hearing, September 7th, 2021. Call to order. Mr. Attorney, proof of public hearing, notification, compliance. Thank you, Mr. Director. Chairman. The proof of publication for tonight's hearing was included on the truth and millage notice that went to all property owners in Lee County, uh, indicating the time and place of tonight's meeting. You are lawful to proceed. Thank you. Thank you. I now hereby open the public hearing this evening on the fiscal 21-22 tentative millage and budget for Lee County. If anyone is here in the audience for the purpose of contesting their assessment, they should contact the Lee County property appraiser. Tonight we'll be holding the tentative millage and public and bu budget public hearing as requested by Florida statute chapters 129 and, one, and 200. The hearing will be conducted as follows. The board will first convene, the board of port commissioners, and then proceed. The budget presentation by the Port Authority Director, public comments for the tentative Port Authority budget. This will be your only opportunity to comment on all budgets for the board of Port Commissioners has the authority over. There'll be no other opportunity during this public hearing for your comments. Board of Port Commissioners discussions and motions. Adoption of FY 21-22 tentative Port Authority budget resolution will be with appropriate changes. Following that, the board will reconvene as a Board of County Commissioners and will proceed as follows. There will be a brief overview of Lee County FY 21-22 proposed budget and presentation by the Assistant County Manager and CFO. The presentation of Lee County's total budget by Assistant County Manager and CFO, including discussions of percentage increases in millage over the rollback rate needed to fund the budget and the specific purposes for which ad valorem taxes are being assessed. Florida 200.0652E1. Presentation of the special taxing units proposed tentative millage rates by MSTU coordinator. Public comment for all budget issues under the authority of the Port Authority of County Commissioners. This will be the only opportunity to comment for all budget items for the Board of County Commissioners has authority over. There'll be no other opportunity during these hearings to provide your comments. Following public comment, the Board of County Commissioners may comment and take any action to move the approval of the appropriate changes, a resolution to adopt the tentative millage and a tentative budget. Consider special taxing units, tentative millage, millages and budgets. Consider countywide tax millage and budget. Consider library, unincorporated MSTU and all hazard protections, tentative millage and budgets. Consider all other tentative budgets. Concerning citizens' comments, in order to expedite the public hearings from anyone, citizens' comments will be only be heard during the two public comment segments of the hearing one segment of the Board of Port Commissioners and the other one with the Board of County Commissioners. Speakers will be limited to three minutes. Please don't applaud, don't take any other actions that may be inappropriate or encourage any other speakers to do so. Public comments will continue until everyone has wishes to speak, addresses the commission and has the opportunity to speak. We'll now convene as the Board of Port Commissioners. We'll ask the Port Authority Budget Director to present FY 21-22 proposed budget. Good evening. Uh, Good evening, Commissioners. Uh, for the record, Brian McGonigal, Lee County Port Authority. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I just have to need, uh, read this into the record if I could. Please. Uh, in compliance with Florida statute, a public hearing is being held uh, today, September 7th, 2021, for the purpose of adopting the tentative budget for fiscal year FY 21-22. The Board of Port Commissioners has acknowledged the revenue estimates necessary to fund the Port Authority budget for fiscal year 21-22. Uh, 
The Board of County Commission is now convened as the Board of Port Commissioners for adoption of the tentative Port Authority budget. The budget for fiscal year 21-22, as shown by the attached schedules, is made part of this resolution and is proposed for adoption as the tentative budget for the Lee County Port Authority for fiscal year 21-22. Our commissioners, we have made no adjustments uh, to the budget since we presented to you in detail back in June. Thank you. At this time, the commissioner will be pleased to hear any citizens' comments concerning the Port Authority's tentative budget. Any public comment? Seeing none, I'll close public comment. Move approval. Second. I have a motion and a second on the floor. Any other discussion? Any opposition? Budget, budget, tentative budget carries unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. We'll now reconvene as the Board of County Commissioners. We'll begin by asking the constitutional officers of the court-related service organizations desire to make a budget presentation to stop, stand forward at the podium one at a time, make their statements. At this time, we'll ask the county manager and the CFO to present the fiscal year 21-22 proposed budget. Good evening, Commissioners. Um, this is the public hearing as required by chapters 129 and 200 Florida statutes. Chapter 200 as amended requires that a public hearing on the budgets be preceded by notice of the hearing. Such notice was provided by the proposed tax notice sent to property owners by the Lee County property appraiser. At this time we will read the proposed millages, rollback rates, and the proposed percentage change from the rollback rate for the county's general fund, library, unincorporated, unincorporated area MSTU, all hazards and special taxing units millages. We will then take public input and after public input we will return to the board for discussion and vote on the millages. These proposed millages are established to pay for the fiscal year 2021-22 continuation budget. Uh, briefly commissioners, <clears throat> last week you received a memo from the county manager which detailed uh, adjustments to the budget that are incorporated in this budget since your uh, August 3rd budget workshop you all talked about these adjustments they include a 10 percent increase for partnering for results agencies uh, for all allocations for all the partnering for results agencies addition of uh, 650,000 for uh, park shade structure over the shuffleboard courts at uh, North Fort Myers Community Park and pay adjustments of four percent for um, county BOCC employees and increasing the sheriff's budget to pay for 4% uh, pay adjustment uh, for the sheriff's office. Um, it also includes um, a uh, $7 million increase uh, in the acquisition fund for Conservation 2020 to bring that fund balance up to $40 million. Uh, after uh, projects paid from excess reserves, including shade structures in the parks, uh, sheriff's capital items uh, and other capital items. Um, the general fund has remaining excess reserves of 33.2 million above a 17 percent minimum reserve level of 85 million. Um, the countywide millage, the proposed countywide millage is 3.8623 mills per thousand taxable value equal to the rolled back rate of 3.8623 mills per thousand of taxable value. The proposed millage is a 0% change from the rollback rate. The Lee County Library proposed Lee County Library millage is 0.4714 mills per thousand taxable value equal to the rollback rate of 0.4714 mills per thousand of taxable value. The proposed millage is a 0% change from the rollback rate. The proposed Lee County unincorporated area MSTU millage is 0.8398 mills per thousand taxable value compared to the rollback rate of 0.7986 mills per thousand of taxable value. The proposed millage is a 5.16% increase from the rollback rate. Uh, much of that increase is to maintain roads and the Department of Transportation. Uh, Lee County All Hazard Protection District, the proposed Lee County All Hazards Protection District millage is 0 0.0693 mills per thousand taxable value compared to the rollback rate of 
uh, 0.0656 mills per thousand of taxable value. This represents a 5.64% increase from the rollback rate, and that fund is used for uh, disaster preparedness, including hurricanes. Uh, municipal services taxing slash benefit units. The municipal services taxing slash benefit units allow communities to tax themselves to pay for added service such as street lights, dredging, road paving, and landscaping. For those units that have citizen committees, the budgets for next year were approved by the committees and the tax rate is a reflection of what is required to pay the annual costs. For those that, that don't have citizen committees, the county charges a rate that pays for annual costs while maintaining a small operational reserve for variances in revenues and unanticipated costs. I will now ask the MSTBU coordinator, Josh Mallow, to read into the record the proposed millage rates, the rollback rates, and the percentage change from the rollback rate for each of the special taxing units millages. He's a rookie, so go easy on him. <laughs> All right. Good evening, commissioners. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read off the proposed millage rates. Bear with me. Uh, Brandon McGroves, light MSTB or MSTU, proposed millage rate 0 0.550, percent of increase 10.59, rollback rate 0.4657. Bayshore Estates, light MSTU. Proposed millage rate 1.2, percent increase 10.70, rollback rate 1.084. Billy Creek Community Light MSTU 0.2295, uh, decrease of 0.1. 7% rollback 0.2299 Burkdale Street Light MSTU 0.255 uh, percent increase 5.07 rollback rate 0.2427 Burnt Store Fire MSTU Proposed millage rate 2.4, increase percentage to 6.17%, rollback rate 1.9022. Cape Coral Solid Waste MSTU, proposed millage rate 0.1791, increase 8.94%, rollback rate 0.1644, Charleston Park Light MSTU, 1.55, increase 6.9%, rollback rate 1.45, Cypress Lake Light MSTU, in uh, proposed millage rate 0.3650, Increase 6.94%, rollback rate 0.3413. Dodger Creek Light MSTU, proposed millage rate 0.6350, increase 5.75%, rollback rate 0.6005. Flamingo Bay Light MSTU, uh, proposed millage 3.5%. 325 increase 7.87 percent rollback rate 0 0.3013 Fort Myers Shores Light MSTU 0 0.18 increase 1.52 percent rollback rate 0.1773 Fort Myers Villas Light District MSTU 0.2215 plus 1.28 percent rollback rate 0.2187. Gasparilla Island MSTU proposed 
0 0.052, increase po uh, 8.11%, uh, rollback rate 0 0.0481, Harlem Heights light MSTU, uh, proposed 5.5320, decrease 16.5%, rollback rate 0.6371, Hammond and Apollo Street Light Unit MSTU 1.2, increase 16.14%, rollback rate 1.0332. Henry Creek Light MSTU proposed 0 0.3310, increase 2.41%, uh, rollback rate 32.8. 3232. Iona Gardens Light MSTU proposed 0.53, increase 3.19%, uh, rollback 0.536. Lehigh Acres MSTU uh, proposed is 0.746, increase 7.60. Rollback rate, 0.6933. Lockmore Village Light, MSDU, 0.46. Uh, rollback, or decrease of 1.94%. Rollback rate, 0.4691. Mara, Mara Villa Fire District, MSTU, 3.2. Decrease of 0.79%, rollback. 3.2254. McGregor Isles, O&M, Special Improvement Unit, uh, proposed 0.33, uh, increase 1.63%, rollback 32.3247. Mobile Haven, Haven Lights, MSTU, proposed 0.49, Increase 7.81%, rollback 0.4545. Moore Shores Light, MSTU, proposed 0.3080, increase 4.94%, rollback 0.2935. North Fort Myers Light District, MSTU, MSTU, sorry. Proposed 0 0.1650, increase 5.1%, uh, rollback 0 0.1570. Northeast Hurricane Bay, MSTU, proposed 1% increase 4.85, and rollback 0.9537. Page Park Light, MSTU, 0.2444, decrease 0.33%, rollback 0.2452. Palmetto Point Light, MSTU, point, proposed 0.7716, increase 107.92%, rollback 0.3711. Palomona Park Light MSTBU, MSTU, 1.12, increase 0.17%, rollback 1.1181. Pine Manor Light MSTU, proposed 0.4750, Percent de decrease 7.26, rollback rate 0.5122. Port Edison Light MSTU 0.39, increase 5.75%, rollback rate 0.3688. Riverdale Shores Improvement MSTU 1.65, 1 increase 11.92%. 
Rollback 1.4743. Russell Park Light MSTU 0 0.5950. Increase 2.34%. Rollback 0.5814. San Carlos Light uh, Island Lighting MSTU um, proposed 0 0.0471. Increase 5.61%. Rollback 0 0.0446. San Carlos Special Improvement, MSTU, proposed 0.2725, increased 9.13%, um, rollback 0.2497. Skyline Light, MSTU, proposed 0.12%, 10.91% uh, increase, uh, rollback 0 0.1082, St. Jude Harbor Light 0.24, uh, increase 18.58%, rollback 0 0.2024. Tanglewood Improvement, MSTU, proposed 1%. Increase 7.20%, rollback 0.9328. Town and River Improvement, MSTU, proposed 0 0.2870, increase 3.45%, rollback 0.2777. Trailwinds Light, MSTU, Proposed 0 0.5055, increase 6.2%, rollback 0 0.4760. Tropical Isles Light MSTU, proposed for 0 0.4560, uh, increase 2.31%, rollback 0 0.4457. USEPA Island Fire MSTU, Proposed 2.71, increase 6.96%, rollback 2.5336. Bill of Palms Lights, MSTU, 0 0.5990, 10.97 increase, uh, rollback 0.5398. Bill Pines Light, MSTU, 0.27 proposed, 9.89% uh, increase, rollback 0.2457. Waterway Estates Light, MSTU, 0.2652, increase 7.37%, rollback 0.2470. Waterway Shores, Light, MSTU, MSTU, 0.63 uh, proposed, 10.64% increase, uh, rollback 0.5694. Whiskey Creek Improvement, MSTU, uh, proposed 0.9999, uh, percentage increase 6.42%. It's a rollback 0.9396, and that concludes. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, just for clarification, uh, a couple. Uh, Alabama Groves Light, the proposed millage is uh, 0 0.5150, and for Iona Gardens Light, MSTU, the rollback rate is 0.5136. <clears throat> the previously read fiscal year 2021-22 special unit taxing unit millages are proposed for tentative adoption. Any percentage of the proposed millage over the rollback rate reflected above is due to a combination of increased electric costs, additional landscaping, and other future projects. If no changes are made after public comment, only one motion to adopt will be required as the resolution includes all of these taxing units. 
This time, the Commission will be pleased to hear any citizens' comments concerning any budgets under the authority of the Board of County Commissioners. Again, I reiterate these members of the public who have come to the following opening hearing. This will be the only opportunity to comment on all budgets for the Port Board of County Commissioners as authority over. There will be no other time to talk. Is there any public comments? Yes, sir. Good evening, everybody. My name's Steve Biaggi. I'm with the Lee County Shuffleboard Club. Plus, I'm a delegate for the state, the Florida Shuffleboard Association. I want to say something. For the last 18 years, going back to Andy Coy, who was a commissioner then, I've been trying to get roof overs. And I've dealt with all the commissioners in that time since then, and all the commissioners of District 5 since then. And I could never get it. But I want to thank you guys because I'll tell you something, this is like a dream come true for me. So on behalf of my club and the whole Florida Association of Shuffleboard, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. God bless you. Thank you. Any other public comments? Seeing none, I'll close public comments. This concludes the public comment segment. I'll now ask for a motion to adopt the tentative millage resolution for the special taxing units. So moved. I have a motion on the floor. Second. I have a second on the floor. Any discussion? Any opposition? Seeing none, it carries unanimously. I'll now ask for a motion to adopt the tentative budgets for all stated special taxing units. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second on the floor. Any discussion? Any opposition? Motion carries unanimously. I want to ask the Assistant County Manager CFO to proceed with the countywide millage rate and budgets. The proposed countywide millage is 3.8623 mills per thousand taxable value equal to the rollback rate of 3.8623 mills per thousand of taxable value. The proposed millage is a 0% change from the rollback rate. I'll ask for a motion to adopt the item. Second. I have a motion to second on the floor. Any discussion? Seeing none, any opposition? Motion carries unanimously. I'll now ask for a motion to adopt the tentative countywide budget. So moved. Second. Motion to second on the floor. Any discussion? Any opposition? Seeing none, motion carries. I'll now ask for a motion to adopt a tentative countywide budget for fiscal year 21 22. So moved. Second. Okay. Motion to second. Any opposition? Seeing none, motion carries unanimously. The proposed Lee County Library millage is 0.4714 mills per thousand taxable value equal to the rollback rate of 0.4714 mills per thousand of taxable value. The proposed millage is a 0% change from the rollback rate. I'll ask for a motion to adopt. So moved. I'll second, second it. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Any opposition? Motion carries. I'll now ask for a motion to adopt the tentative Lee County Library budget for the year 2021. I'll move. I'll second that. Any other discussion? Any opposition? Motion carries unanimously. The proposed Lee County Unincorporated Area MSTU millage is 0.8398 mills per thousand taxable value compared to the rollback rate of 0.7986 mills per thousand of taxable value. The proposed millage is a 5.16% increase from the rollback rate. I'll now ask for a motion to adopt the tentative millage resolution for Lee County Unincorporated MST. So moved. Second. Motion and a second on the floor. Any discussion? Any opposition? 
Motion carries unanimously. I'll now, now ask for a motion to adopt the tentative budget for Lee County Unincorporated Areas MSTU. So moved. I'll second it. Motion to second. Any other discussion? Any opposition? Motion carries unanimously. The proposed Lee County All Hazards Protection District millage is 0 0.0693 mills per thousand taxable value compared to the rollback rate of 0 0.0656 mills per thousand of taxable value. This represents a 5.64% increase from the rollback rate. And I'll ask for a motion to adopt the tentative millage resolution for Lee County All Hazards Protection District. So moved. I'll second, second it. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Any opposition? Motion carries unanimously. I'll now ask for a motion to adopt the tentative budget for Lee County All Hazards Protection District. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Any opposition? Motion carries unanimously. Lee County, all other budgets for the board's adoption tonight make up the rest of the total county budget proposed for next fiscal year. These are funds that are not supported by a millage and include significant operations such as utilities, solid waste, visitor and convention bureau, transit, toll facilities, and those budgets funded through grants from other entities. These budgets are included as part of the total Lee County budget and are detailed in the budget summary in your materials. Now I'll ask for a motion to adopt the tentative Lee County, all other budgets. So moved. Second. Motion a second. Any discussion? Any opposition? Motion carries unanimously. In compliance with Florida statutes, this public hearing is being held on September 7, 2021 for the purpose of the adoption of the tentative total Lee County budget for fiscal year 21-22, and the Board of Lee County Commissioners has now adopted the tentative millage rates necessary to fund the budget. The proposed total Lee, total Lee County budget for fiscal year 21-22 is shown in the budget summary reports, which outline each fund and is made part of the budget resolution, is now being proposed for adoption as a tentative total Lee County budget of Lee County, Florida for fiscal year 21-22. I'm going to ask for a motion to adopt the tentative. Second. I have a motion to second. Any discussion? Any opposition? Motion carries. Any other business before us? Mr. Chairman, yes. just one statement. It just, I, I've got to make it. Uh, I was at a budget hearing a number of years ago that ended at 2 a.m. or thereabouts. Uh, the purpose of pointing this out is to commend our staff, starting with Roger Down. Pete, superb job that you do. Everybody does a superb job in putting this budget together and to have one person come and thank us and not one person criticize is, again, hats off to a crack staff. Thank you, sir. I echo that. Commissioner Mann said it's been some bad years and good years, so this is a good year. So thank you to all the workers. I know Commissioner Hammond and the chair today recognize their employees and everything, but like you said earlier, we wouldn't be here today without our employees. So thank you for that and all the residents. Uh, we're in a good place right now, so thank you for everybody, for all the hard work. And uh, our chairman for our leadership this last 10 months has been a good year so far. So thank you for your continued leadership. I appreciate it. The only thing I can say is this is my 15th budget since I've been in service, and this is by far the easiest one. And Pamela could tell you this was the shortest one. So thank you, <laughs> to say the least. And honestly, it's a pleasure. Thank you all. appreciate it. You guys spoiled me because I'm, uh, you know, I've only seen the good times so far. So this is good. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, commissioners. And if I can put on the record, the final budget hearing is September 21st in these chambers at 5.05 p.m. And we are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you, commissioners.